Hey guys, I'm Joe, this is Theojo Tech. Have you ever heard of MKV, AVI, MP4 files? Well, yeah, those are codecs, right? No, they're actually not. Those are things called file containers. I wanted to go over some misconceptions, hopefully quickly, about what a codec is, what a file container is, just so you can be aware of the different types of files so the next time you go to make a video or encode or convert a file, anything like that, you'll know what you're talking about. So I just mentioned two things, a codec and a file container. So what is the difference? Well, a file container is what it sounds like. It's basically a wrapper file which contains metadata, audio streams, video streams of different types and packages them together. It's gonna to contain a lot of metadata and information about the video and audio contained in it. And this is what people usually call the file format or the format. Some common file formats are gonna be MKV, MP4, AVI. It's basically what the file extension is. It's just the overall type of file. And within each file container, you're gonna have different types of audio and video streams, but there are some that are only for audio. Each video or audio stream, which you can think of as the actual video or audio, is going to be one of different coding formats. You can think of the coding format as the actual type of video or audio within. Now, there are a couple that you might know, such as MP3 audio, H.264 video, VP9 video, MPEG2 video. So while we have the file format, which is the overall file type, we also have the coding format, which is the type of individual audio or video stream within. So then what's a codec? Well, the codec is actually the software that is used to encode or decode the media. In fact, codec is a combination of the words coder, decoder. So that's why you have to download different codec packs if your video player can't play a certain file. You're literally going and downloading little packages of software that allow your video player to decode that video and play it on the computer. Or if you have a video editor, then it's using a codec to encode and render that preview of the video into the file. So the codec isn't the file format or even the coding format. You can think of it like the method used to compress the video or audio. So let's take, for example, H.264 video. This is a very common format used in the MP4 file container. And there are several codecs that encode into H.264. Some examples are X.264, QuickTime and DivX. You might have heard of these before. So the H.264 format is the result of using one of the codecs I just mentioned. Now there are some times where the codec and the file format are used interchangeably. For example, FLAC, this is an audio format called Free Lossless Audio Codec, and this refers to not just the codec, but also the format itself. So if you're confused, let me use an analogy or a metaphor to help break it down. Take, for example, the English language, or any language, really. When we say English, we're technically referring to the set of rules we use to convert ideas into sounds. So you can kind of think of this like the coding format. It's standardized. And our brain is kind of like a codec. It takes ideas, which is one format, and converts it and encodes it into another format, which is English or another language. And it can also decode words from English into thoughts, so it's like a codec. So basically in this video we talk about three things, the file containers, the codecs, and the coding formats. The file container is just kind of like the wrapper, which stores all the information in a standardized way, such as subtitles, the video stream, the audio stream, and other info. The coding format is the form which the audio and video is stored in, and then the codec is the piece of software that converts to and from the different coding formats. So I think that clears things up. I wanna hear what you guys think about this video. You can give some feedback in the comments section and we can keep talking down there as well. If you liked the video, uh, be sure to give it a thumbs up so I know you guys enjoyed it. I'll make more like this in the future. If you wanna keep watching, I've got some other videos on the right-hand side. I think you'll enjoy them. You can either click them or look in the description for the same link, such as if you're on a phone. And if you actually wanna subscribe, I try to make new videos three times a week, so I think it should be worth it. So I look forward to hearing from you guys. Thanks for watching, I will see you next time. Have a good one.